that you want to see play out in this show in uh, future seasons? It's tricky because, you know, like, I, I, I love, you know, the sympathy that people have for the character and I love that we've been able to bring humanity into mm -hmm. this character and sort of root it in a real human experience. But at the same time, like, the story of Gotham is what happens to people, again, when love is stripped away and we, we need to see, like, I, I want him to become the monster that everyone knows. I want to gradually, and it's tricky because you, you always want there to be a shred of, you know, something that you can sympathize with inside, inside a character. You always want to find that. And I think we found that, and that will always be there. But in terms of where I want to see, it, where I want to see him go, I want to see depravity. I want to see someone who is in charge. I want to see someone who, you know, I don't want to see someone who's like surprised when someone pulls a gun out on him. Like I want to see him take, a, you know, agency, and I also want to see him not be vulnerable anymore. And I want him to be despicable, awful, awful, despicable. I don't want people to come to me anymore and be like, oh, I just felt so sorry for him. I appreciate that, and that's, you know, that is where we're going, and that's where the story is now. But I, you know, I'm looking forward to moving out of that, and I want people to, I want people to be afraid, and, and I want, you know, I want to work against this lovely, like, sympathy that we've got working. I want to now start taking that away from people so that they feel, you know, so that they feel like they're losing something, which is, again, the story that we're telling, is that loss of humanity. Have you thought about sort of hopefully many seasons down the road, yes. but have you thought about that final shot of Oswald slash Penguin, what you would want that to be? Well, I mean, now I just said that. I mean, I would want to see whatever the situation is that he finds himself in, I would like to see there be a decision. As I'm just being very vague. Like, I would like to see there be some sort of decision, like, you know, oh, I, like, for like once, and it's just like a second, like maybe he's gonna be, maybe he's gonna be a good, maybe he's gonna be that good person that we know is deep down in there. Like maybe he'll make the kind right choice. I want, I want that to pass over, like, like you know, like, like a cloud, and then I want it to be the coldest, most heartless thing you've ever seen a character do. Because that's the character, that's the story that we're telling. It's, it's a despicable, awful, awful person that ultimately the Dark Knight has to get rid of in order to save the people of Gotham City. Like, we have to get to that point. But, you know, I still want there to be a moment where you like, you know, just like, like the sun coming out from behind a cloud. You see, just see that, you know, all of that potential of who that person could, could have been if, if things had gone right for him. That, that's how I would right. play out.